Let's tell the world all the things we've done Falling in love in the setting sun I've got a song and a smile so bright I'll make you wish you were here tonight Hi everyone. This speech is six years in the making. Its words have been built unwittingly since I was a provisional, sitting in the back of the ballroom and imagining myself saying goodbye in a white dress with fancy gloves and a sense of world knowledge far greater than a soon to be seventh grader could ever understand. So I'll let you in on a secret. There's no grand intuition you'll pick up along the way. Mom's going to test to this. I'm not sure if I've gained an insight on life that will propel me into greatness, but I've got something better. I've got all of you, and the value of community, and of having people just to listen. Thank you to the women at NCL who have adopted me into their homes and their hearts, to the sisters I will cherish forever, and most importantly, to my mom. Mom, this one's for you. When I was seven, people used to tell me that I was just like you. I had climb under the table at your meetings and start playing with the nurse's toes. I didn't know enough then to want to be like you. When I was 12, we had just joined NCL, and people told me that I was just like you, and I would pray that they were wrong. <laughs> now I'm 17 years old. Today, when someone tells me that I'm just like you, I can't help but hope that they mean all of it. I hope they mean that I look like you, but maybe without two hours of stair machine exercise every day. <laughs> maybe they mean that I can work six different shades of purple into each outfit like you can. <laughs> I hope they mean that I laugh like you, that I can joke like you, that I could be almost or as smart and intelligent as you, mostly that I could care about others the way that you do. Every motion and effort you put into your life, personal and professional, I dream of emulating. I don't know how long it would have taken to realize this without NCL, without Emma Cotter and Amanda Jones reminding me of how awesome you are, or without hearing your passion for helping people, from offering up our house to answering texts about medical problems, to holding the babies at precious life, and without seeing the intricate and developing relations of the daughters and mothers in this class of 2017, who bring joy into my life and appreciation for everything I take for granted. When I was younger, all I wanted was to be important, to write great novels, give magnificent speeches, wear the most beautiful dresses, and befriend the most fantastic and important people. I believe that those things were the qualifications for significance, and that to fall behind those was to be lacking in something. What NCL and the women behind it have taught me, beyond the complex interworkings of tea pouring and the more complex structure of an agenda, is that importance is in context. To read books to the kids at Cypress Boys and Girls Club. To donate an hour of your time at Precious Life. To befriend the absolute best people around. This is importance. It's smaller in scope, but so much better than anything that I could have dreamed up. And it's better because it's absolutely real. I haven't gained an insight, a ridiculous new insight on life since seventh grade, but I've realized that that's perfectly fine. So to the girls in the adoring crowd and your teary-eyed mothers, there is no formula to conquer the next years of your lives. Here are some of your experiences, so go take all of them. Go to We Care Food Shopping and Catella Manor events. Attend your meetings with an unrelenting sense of optimism. NCL, just like life, is what you make of it. So thank you, NCL, the moms who have become as treasured as my own, the girls who have become my sisters, and the classes before and after mine who remind me why this organization matters. You have impacted all of our lives for the better. Miss Alexa Gumber.